I hacked ChatGPT with this seriously simple trick, but most people are doing it all wrong. Let me show you what I mean. Okay. A couple years ago, I invented this thing called GPT stacking. I made up the name. I swear every person that I talked to a bit, no matter how much of an expert they were, they had never heard of it. It was like somehow I found this magic trick inside ChatGPT. Now more and more people are doing it, which is awesome. And so I wanted to show you what the trick is and where most people are messing it up. So I am currently inside a custom GPT chat. So this is my viral hook generator. These are the hooks that I created for the video that you're watching right now. And from here, what I can do is I can type the at symbol and I can bring in what I call the tree of beliefs. This is another GPT. So I can actually stack these GPTs on top of each other. So I'm just gonna show you the trick, how it works. And then I'm gonna show you what people are doing wrong. So here I can say, great, please create a tree of beliefs based on the info above. And maybe I won't say based on the info above. I'll say to get people to want to watch that video. Okay. Now I've trained this custom GPT on a very specific system. Oh, which it is not even doing. It, yes, it is. It's asking me questions like it should be. I'm just going to say, um, oh my gosh, being so specific. It's for coaches. Actually, watch this. This is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. So this is asking about the tree of beliefs. I need to answer these questions with Molly Mahoney's voice. So I was accessing the brain. This is the way I explain it. I was accessing the brain of this tree of beliefs GPT, not the viral hook generator. I was just talking to the tree of beliefs GPT. Now I'm going to access the brain of my brand voice. And I'm going to say, please answer the questions above. And now my brand voice is going to answer, uh, answer those questions. So what, the way that this works is these GTs that you stack will have access to everything in the chat and everything inside their own brain. They can't go into the other GPT's brain. And I'm going to prove it to you right now. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, look at this. It's it's trying to create a tree of beliefs by talking about trunks and branches, which is not the actual format. <laughs> so I'm going to say, no, I just wanted you to answer these questions. I'm going to put, let's use the content club. Who is it for? And I'm just going to say, I'll answer them. Please expand. Okay, let's use the content club. It's for those people. Um, yes, all of these things. <laughs> okay, and I'm currently only talking to Molly's brand voice and she has access to everything else in this chat, but she didn't actually know how to create a tree of beliefs. And now you can, it, once I show you what a tree of beliefs is, you'll see that she was trying to by guessing, but she didn't actually have the real system. So watch this. Um, great. So it answered those questions. Now I'm going to close this one out by clicking on the X and I'm going to bring the tree of beliefs GPT back in and watch what's going to happen. Great. Amazing. Now please create a tree of beliefs. Okay. And even though it may have been tempted to copy what the other one did, it's doing it right. So this is how my true beliefs process works and how this GPT is trained. The other GPT was not trained on this. So when it tried to do it, it messed it up, even though I had used the tree of beliefs GPT in here. Now, I'm going to try one more thing. After this, I'm going to try and do something that the viral hook generator was trained on to see if it has access to that brain. But the problem is, is that where it could be, you know, misconstrued is that the short hooks and long hooks are already written inside this chat. So it may have learned from this viral hook generator from what it added in the chat, but I do not believe it has access to its actual internal prompt. We're going to see what happens in just a moment.
I mean, this is great. Using GPT strategically makes a huge difference. Using GPT stacking feels smarter and more aligned. These are all awesome beliefs that I'm going to use for content in the future. Okay. Now watch. I'm going to say, great. Please give me hooks for each of those beliefs. I'm just asking the tree of beliefs brain, <laughs> but it has access to the whole chat. So it's going to potentially base it off of what it read in the chat. Let's see. It's not doing what the viral hook generator is trained to do. It's doing what it wants to do by adding the hook over here. Now I'm going to put one little final point in here. I'm going to close this one out after this is done. And I'm going to go back to the hook generator and ask it to create hooks and we'll see what it does. I know this feels like, oh my gosh, it's taking forever, but watch. Okay. So once this is done, I'm going to see if I can close it out right now. We'll see. Okay. Now I'm talking back to the hook generator. <clears throat> I'm going to say, thank you. Please create hooks following. And now it's searching its knowledge. It's going back into the viral hook generator. Ta-da. Now it's accessing this brain. I swear it does not cross brain access. <laughs> Unless once it cha if that changes at some point, that'd be cool. But I think if you think that it's accessing both, it's tricking you. Okay. 